What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Time to check in with another one of our power couples here on 90 Day Fiance. That's right, Soulja Boy, aka Usman, and his soon to be old wife from America, Lisa, are back at it. And if you missed my first video on them, go back and watch it for context. Anyways, keep watching if you have seen that because it gets really awkward at times. And without further ado, let's jump back into where we left off. This famous Nigerian rapper was about to throw away his entire career for this older woman that kind of catfished him online. Well, not kind of actually. She definitely fully catfished him. She looks nothing like the pictures she sent apparently. And last time we saw them on my channel, they had just had a huge fight where I thought they might break up after that. Luckily, they have come back from that and are now trying to convince his family to let them get married. So let's just see how that goes. I gave his mother a goat and I wore the traditional Hausa clothing, but she did not give her blessings. Wow, so they donated a goat and wore their traditional clothes and everything, like they're doing this by the books, which is nice, but I feel like she kind of sees that as, oh, now she should just give us our blessing all of a sudden, but that's not how this works, and of course, the mom still says no to their marriage. I'm sure it's not because he's about to marry an aggressive, angry old woman from America that sounds like she's been smoking 12 packs a day or anything, right? Mom doesn't want Osman to marry Lisa because she's uh, an old woman She's not a Nigerian. So anyways, they even try to get his older brother involved and practically plead with him to talk to their mother and have her reconsider so that they can get her blessing once and for all and finally move him back to America and get them married. And even this dude is like so clearly not into it. His face when they bring it up is just full of pain and confusion as it should be. And I don't get how Usman has seen the red flags in this woman himself. And then his entire family is not on board with this woman either. And he's still fighting so hard to be with her. Like, why are you putting up this fight, my dude and I I mean totally get where the mother is coming from here too regardless of who you are think about this if your child came up to you one day and was like hey so here's my significant other from another country they're about three times my age and doesn't know a thing about my culture or respect it really at all and yeah I know you've never met them or anything but how about we get married please can I get your blessing like no that's not how this works at least let her get to know your mother before you ask for a major blessing like that she doesn't even know this woman I truly love her too and um, a life there is going to be more better than here because, you know. So he's basically saying here, like, yeah, life sucks. I'm going to ditch you and mom and just go live with this woman that I definitely love. Also, you got to appreciate how he says he loves her. And it looks like he's simply trying to just remember this bogus stuff that he's been saying because it's been so rehearsed to this point And he's so scared of Lisa's wrath that he messes this up, too. Remember the first time that they went to get the blessing from their mother? He messed up. I think that was in my last video. And she scolded him afterwards. So he's just terrified of having to face that again. Yo guys, before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. I cannot imagine leaving Nigeria not being married to my destiny, my everything. The dichotomy between their faces right now is so beautiful. Like this is truly peak television right here. She's talking all lovey-dovey about how she can't imagine leaving here without marrying him and how much she loves him. And he's just sitting there actually thinking of the full gravity of the situation right now as she's explaining it, you know? And he's imagining having to actually spend his life with this woman for that many years. I think he's been rushing through this and kind of going through the motions because it's TV and he's just kind of doing it. But unless something changes, he's about to legit move to America and be stuck with her. Not a good move if you ask me, bruh. So here's where the real cringe starts, you guys. Their plan to win Usman's mom, or quote, mommy, as Lisa calls her for some reason, is to go to a mosque with them and show that Lisa is open to his culture and ways of living and appreciates it, which sounds like a good idea until you remember, guys, this is Lisa we're talking about, who, much like our friend Ed, is a perfect caricature of an uncultured, loud American. So just watch how this goes down. It's pretty bad. Dreams. They're trying to practice their faith in peace right now, and she's like freaking out on the side when Usman told her to literally just not talk and mimic what they do. Not very hard, but instead she's like, beads, beads, w where do I get some of these beads, Usman? Like, dude, you had two rules to follow, and you broke the first one right away. Way to go. Just be quiet and try to go along. You don't gotta be interrupting and making a scene. How are these people so unaware of how embarrassing they're being? Like, I just don't get it, dude. Can you ask mommy for her blessings for our marriage? 
I'm actually at a loss for words right now. I know they're editing this and we might have missed some of the small talk, but according to the way that it is edited, it looks like they just walked out of the building, awkwardly stood there for about 10 seconds while his mother couldn't even look this woman in the eye and immediately without any more conversation, she's like, okay, I did the thing you wanted, Usman. Now ask her for her blessing in our marriage again. Like, does this woman not understand how human emotions work at all or how to talk? Please, I'm begging you, attempt to just relate to this woman somehow first or talk to her as if she's a human being instead of this roadblock or obstacle in the way of you and your man's love. So yeah, still the same justified answer from the mother here. She knows nothing about this old lady and is not about to let her take her son from their country. How does she even know if he's ever going to be able to come back home? Like no parent in their right mind would ever sign up for this. She knows her son too and can see that he's clearly not in this for the love. So she's not going along with this delusion that everyone else is partaking in. Props to the mom for holding her ground and not letting them get through to her, but I'm sadly guessing that she is gonna crack at some point. And this is our last chance to get mom's blessing, but the chances are just like 1% out of 100% because... Yeah, and after multiple attempts and failures, you're still trying. Come on, dude, it's, it's just kind of gross how badly Usman wants this. Like, dude, you're making your entire close family uncomfortable and unhappy because of this. And yet you're continuing just because you want to go to America so bad. Think about how bad your mom feels about this and you're having to pester her for so long until she finally just gives in and basically says goodbye to you forever, possibly. Why are you putting her through this? that she needs to understand the jobs in America are much stronger for you and let her know that, you know, you're going to return to Nigeria. And meanwhile, Lisa is just spoon feeding these lies basically to Usman. I'm sure he does have more opportunity in America, but we all know she's not going to be super inspired to ever come back to his home country. She's just complained the whole time being here and is wanting to separate him from his family because all she sees in them is a giant roadblock for their relationship to move forward. It's so terrible to see, but he's just going along with it because he's that desperate. All around this is just not fun to watch. This man, we have a big problem here. We don't have time for problems. Notice the wording here, how he's desperately trying to get his mother's approval for like a fifth time this week. And instead of her trying to ask what the mother wants or find out how she can make it better, she legit just says, we don't have time for problems. Make her say yes. The amount of disrespect she has shown to his family and culture while here is astounding. And once again, dude, I gotta have a big L for Usman over here for putting up with that. Have some respect for yourself, dude. You're throwing your family under the bus just for this opportunity and your happiness is just going out the window. Like, think for yourself. Not you now. She said yes. So apparently the mother did crack under the pressure finally. I'm sure her son pestering her about it nonstop since Lisa has been here and the camera crew being around her made her just cave in and it's really sad to see. They act like the more they were asking her, the more the issues would somehow be changed or erased, but they're all still there because you can't change them. This woman is like super old compared to him and treats him like absolute trash. And yet he doesn't really love her because he simply sees her as a giant ticket out of where he's at right now. And we all know this is not going to work, but everyone is now on board all of a sudden just because they were so annoying about it that it's easier to just say yes than put up a fight. I'm leaving because you're disrespectful. Why do you get angry people? Because you talk stupid at times. No, it's not stupid. Like like this is sarcasm, of course, but I mean, just here you can see their relationship is so pristine and it's hard to imagine why the mother put up such a fight when it came to giving them her blessing. Just look at how she talks to him. I'm very independent. I've been taking care of my own life for yeah, okay. many years. Okay. It's beautiful to see them exist so peacefully together. Want to know another crazy development I found in this story though? On some sort of Zoom live stream they were having since filming, they were both being interviewed and Usman actually announced that Lisa at one point called him a word that I would never repeat. And well, here's her response. No, let's see where this goes. You just opened that can of worms. Okay. All right, if that comes from me because of you, it's going to get real ugly. You open this can of worms, then I get this hate mail coming to my house while you're in Nigeria. You and I are going to have big drama. So yeah, she just screams and threatens at him. You'd think someone who was literally just exposed for calling someone such a terrible word would try to apologize and save face, but maybe she sees nothing wrong with it and instead just turns to yelling at him since that's her favorite pastime ever. I know this wasn't on the show technically, but I wanted to include it because I think it's important and honestly makes me feel better about calling her things like old, which might sound harsh, but yeah, she's just old and mean. And maybe honestly, she should hit up Ed after this because it seems like neither of their romances really took off and I see a lot of 
similarities in how they approach this. You know, both were unable to have any sort of self-respect the entire time and practically just made a joke of their partner's culture and lives throughout while pitying them for some reason. There is, however, more to this story. And, you know, I kind of made this part two to just see how good it does because you guys have been loving the Ed videos. And this series is hilarious to me. There's actually a lot of couples in this 90 Day Fiance thing that just all have these terrible dynamics. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and comment telling me to make a part three. And if I see enough hype around it, I will make one for sure. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out.